Hello learners, today I am going to talk to you about uh, how can you install Generate Press Premium theme and uh, in case you have bought hosting from our link, so you will get it free of cost as well. And it is very simple to install Generate Press Premium and build different sorts of websites as well. So let's jump on to the hosting or cPanel and I hope once you purchase your hosting, you would see something like this. You might have taken a free domain name as well. So as you have seen in the last video that uh, we have taken a domain name as TechWit Pavan and now we have purchased a, a dummy domain online for this demo. Now what we did is we installed a uh, website AI builder to uh, create the test domain. So that video will be published later as well. How can you create use the AI website builder as well? But in this video, if you see, this was the website that was built using Hostinger AI, which has created a kind of a portfolio website for us. And it was very simple as well. So we did that part. Now, in case you have used the uh, Hostinger uh, AI builder, and uh, in future you change the mind that you need to move to WordPress, then the steps would be first you need to delete this website now in case you have started and use that template for quite long and you want that data should not be uh, removed then what you need to do is you need to go to edit website first in this gear icon click on the gear icon and then there is option to export to wordpress so make sure before deleting it you export the data to WordPress and this will uh, export all the blogging data. It won't export any online store products, etc. So make sure you are aware that you should not create a AI builder website in case you are thinking to move the platform. Otherwise, you might need some technical help. Okay, as such, we do not need to export the data. So we will just uh, delete it. And uh, this is for demo purpose only. Now we'll jump on to the websites. We will first delete the website understand delete close it's deleted now let's click on create and uh, migrate so we will create it it's a blogging website create a new website you will see two options we will go with the wordpress so for all the generate press premium and all the premium themes you would need wordpress so it won't work on hosting or builder with ai so make sure you use wordpress select you can create your own password as it will help in logging into your website now you will see the plugins so this monster insights opt-in monster all-in-one seo if you know wp beginner these are all from his uh, uh, team so i don't need all these plugins as i'm not creating a um, website which requires most of the pop in pop-ups i don't like those pop-ups however i do need google site kit so we will go with google site kit then we will continue now it will give you some themes as well as an option okay so what i would suggest is that it, it does have generate press as well but i would normally skip it and i don't need a template okay now it will say choose a domain so you will already have a domain name in place so make sure you choose the domain now if you have purchased domain using any other uh, domain vendors then you might have to change the, the name servers which is very easy that would come uh, as an instruction and you can follow it however in case you have any doubts do comment uh, and we will uh, help, try to help you out okay so see hostinger is taking some time but yeah it, it is it is pretty fast in uh, installing all those things so be aware that ssl is also free of cost through hostinger so you will get a free ssl certificate you can also share your account so it, it is giving some advertisement so you can see how it how hostinger works as well we'll wait for a minute SSL is installed 99% preparing dashboard. 
So it has confirmed that SSL is installed in the website. We don't have to do anything to install SSL. It has done it automatically. And this is the second domain. So SSL is free for all the domains. Okay. So now there are two options. You can either go to control panel panel or you can directly go to WordPress. So we normally go to WordPress. So let's click on WordPress. So there are two ways to go either through over here, edit website, which will directly log into your WordPress dashboard. So this is how WordPress dashboard looks like. However, in case you don't want to go directly uh, via this route, then what you can do is you can simply type your website URL, which is online slash wp hyphen admin. So this is a this is a normal WordPress login. Some uh, and uh, you can easily log in through this. So you so now it asks for username and password. So as you know that uh, this data we have already created while we were installing it. So make sure you remember this password. Okay, it worked. Okay, now we this is the WordPress dashboard. In WordPress dashboard is quite user friendly. Initially, you might see it a bit complex. So what I'll do is I will brief you about this dashboard as well. So it, it, it is saying that this is a 6.3 version, which is the latest WordPress version. You can just click on dismiss. It gives site health status. So WordPress has now been doing some site health automatically. Then uh, oh, the main thing you need to make sure you know how to do is how to install a theme and plugins. So themes, you will find it in appearance section where you will see themes. Themes are basically the front end that you see how site looks like. So it's a kind of a no code work where you don't have to code anything and there are ready-made templates. Now this video is more about generate press. So we will add, click on add new and you will have to search generate press. You will see generate press is there. Click on install button. So this is the theme. This is a free theme. This comes uh, uh, as normal. You don't have to pay. So all those themes are coming as free. So these are termed as freemium themes. So they have a free version and then they have a premium version. So free version is, is also good for basic blogging. You can do blogging. You can do everything. Okay. Theme is installed. So make sure we activate the theme. Click on activate. Once you click on activate, you can view the site, which will look something like this. So this is a generate press view. Now it, it, it will look very raw and uh, it doesn't appear good. Now you have to customize it based on your requirement. However, uh, if you do not know how to customize a website and uh, are not pretty sure, then be aware that it will take some time to do the customizations. As such, generate press free version. If you click on customize, you will understand what generate press free version provides. So it does say premium module available. So you have to purchase it. However, you will get it free of cost. But first go through the free version. So site identity is the site title means the title of your website. So you can hide it as well. So see the title has been hidden or keep it as well. The site title normally should not be the URL. So say generate press demo okay you can put a tagline so tagline will come at the bottom so say i put learn and on with one now we have it, it has a checkbox to hide it. So if we unhide it, you would see it would come at the bottom, but it doesn't look good over here. So I would just hide it. And you can create your logo. So there are a lot of logo websites uh, freely available. You can create your logo or the icon, but normally we do not uh, focus much on logo initially. As our uh, main task is to set up the blog and start blogging. 
now layout so container so what is container so this is is a container okay now what what it is saying is content layout so separate container so the hello world box is a separate container and this search box is a separate container so you would see a, a grayish color white and a grayish color now if you make it one container you would see everything comes in single container okay so normally look wise the separate container looks pretty good and you can see the alignment so uh, container alignment as a box view or as a text view so there is a very minor difference and uh, we prefer to keep it in a text view you can change the container uh, width but it is advised to keep it to 1200 only so let's make it 1200 okay header keep it as default as of now header is basically the top section so this is the header the so current full width we have created you can put it as a container so you this this header might align will align with your container so this grayish is a container and then inner header is over here so it would also come uh, as a full width or a contained width so you can choose the header primary navigation is basically the navigation bar so we will talk more around this and uh, sidebar this is called sidebar so you can uh, select either to show the sidebar for uh, your uh, home page or you can show it for your content page so there are options so like block sidebar single post slide sidebar so what it means is like if i click on hello world post okay and if i don't want this sidebar then in the single post sidebar you can say no sidebar so you will see the sidebar is removed but in the home page you would see the sidebar okay so this is how the sidebar thing is block side container layout means basically if you have a blog layout so if you have customized your home page and you have a category page so in the category page your sidebar will not be visible or you can choose it like a, three column sidebar over here then the content then again here so normally for basic blogging you just have to keep it as default so no need to change these settings then in the footer uh, you would see there are options so back to top button everything is there and footer width is there now you might see you are unable to customize this thing so we'll see later and blogging wise uh, what you want to show here is it the full article or the excerpt if you put full over here the full article is shown but the recommendation is to show excerpt only as it might create a duplicate content issues okay so we have gone through the layout now colors so colors is like um, what color combination you need but it is advanced level like it's not required typography you can just ignore it as of now general is like uh, icon types what they want and uh, add underlines to the link so yeah we have said always by default so it is good like it is underlined so that people know it is a link then menu menu is something you have to create it which normally is displayed here so you can create a menu for primary location in the free version but uh, in the premium version you will get multiple options then widget wise where so what is widget so this is a widget search so we have a right sidebar so if you go to right sidebar okay got it now you see so there are widgets placed you can place it or you can remove it as well so if i say if i want to delete this sidebar just click here delete okay just click here delete so this is deleted here. so this is how uh, this uh, widgets are used for so they are very handy in terms of so displaying things and additional css is a customized style sheet so basically this is a in in the back end is a style sheet so it it it, it designs the uh, things like search which how it should look like where these buttons are etc so if you want to customize it if you're hardcore technical then only you need it we normally ignore it now you have to click on publish once you make the changes so click on publish it will make the changes available 
So this is the free version. So you will see the free has already done everything. Now, how to install a premium version? So let's go to the plugins, installed plugins. In the install plugin, you would have seen we have already activated SiteKit. So let it be there. Akismat anti-spam is installed, but not activated. So we do recommend to install it as it helps in uh, blocking uh, spammy comments and uh, some uh, spammy login attempts as well. So do activate it. We will put a provide a detailed video on how to install and activate Akismat. Okay. All in one WordPress migration will be handy in case you are migrating your website from, uh, say, different platform to hosting us. In our case, we don't need uh, to migrate and it is a fresh installation. So we will just deactivate it. And so see, in the, uh, before deactivating, you won't see a delete button. After deactivating only, you will see a delete button. So just delete it as well as it will take unnecessary space. Hello, Dolly, something. Uh, hope and all those things uh, they have created it, but no use for us. Hostinger provides their own plugin for updates, etc. So if you want to keep it, you can keep it. Otherwise, you can deactivate and delete it because we don't want our website to be heavily loaded. So now we have three plugins. Akismat, Lightspeed Cache is required and uh, SiteKit by Google. So caching is basically, it, it will help in case you have a uh, higher traffic than it would have serve the cache page okay now to install the generate press premium theme you have to click on add new upload plugin choose file so you have to choose the file now so you would have this link from us in this click on premium themes click on generate press generate press 2.3.1 this is the latest version download it your system should scan for some virus to make sure they are virus free and then choose file go to your downloads it has come in so just install it and click on activate so now generate press premium is installed now click on configure and you would see not receiving premium update. So license key is not required. We can install it in case you need it, but we will provide all the update. Up. So basically what this license key is for, like if generate press has a next version 2.3.2, .2, that won't be updated automatically. For that, what you have to do is you have to come back to this uh, folder again, and we will paste the updated version. And uh, apart from that, everything will work fine and all the features that generate press provide in the premium version will be working fine so what you need to do is whatever modules you need you can activate it so like the background you want to activate it so let's activate everything now you might see that copyright so there was a copyright bit at the bottom so this won't work in the free version but in the premium version you can uh, update it Okay, and then elements. So we will talk more around elements. Menu, no, site library. Site library is uh, very good. So we'll talk more around site libraries today. Now, you can export some of the settings as well or import as well from us. So in future, what we will do is we'll create some custom uh, generate press uh, premium uh, versions which you can import it easily. However, what you can do is you can go to site library and in case you are looking for say a news related theme uh, means layout, then in this site library, you would see some free templates available. So what you can do is category select blog, you will get a lot of blogs. This looks like a news related layout. Okay. This also looks like to me a news related lay layout as well. Okay, this is a newsroom. So you can use this one as well. So based on your uh, choice, you can install it. This read is also a newspaper layout. So what we will do is we will just uh, install newsroom. Now this site use the following plugin. So generate blocks would be required. So just click click on get started. 
what you can do is import theme options and import demo content but make sure demo content will be uh, a lot of move it is pics will also be installed so whether you want to install the uh, demo content is up to you however uh, we normally would suggest to avoid installing demo contents and uh, you can create it later now this process makes changes to if it contains important data we suggest backing it up if it is a fresh installation you can try it otherwise for uh, advanced bloggers uh, they would know that it is uh, not the right way to import the options and they should be doing the staging database so we will just say that we don't need anything okay now this process make sure to your website if it compares we suggest backing it up okay so we have to back it up basically it is an option so we will begin importing we don't have any important data okay it's all done now you will see this is how our website will look like now what we can do is we can remove the imported site data so it, it is looking very basic right now we will remove it we can play around with it okay so you have removed the data now we'll go again okay get started we will import demo content as well now now you will see the real difference so earlier you would have seen that it was looking very basic there was only a header nothing else now you will see it will take some time because it will upload images it will upload content as well but if you want a news related website this is the way easiest way you can uh, create it using generate press premium we will take a bit of a time this importing content okay it the import has completed it took around a minute now let's view the site now you will see see so this is the customization that generate press has already done to you now what you have to see it has created everything newsletter about us contact us all the pages all this has been installed for you now you must be aware where it has been installed so that you can make sure you make the changes correctly so first is elements okay so in elements it has created all the various sections you don't have to change anything over here you go to dashboard within the dashboard you would have to mainly make sure that post so these are the posts so 64 posts are published okay you would have to delete all those posts then in categories it would have created all the categories so you will see all the categories so whichever is required you can use it and then pages so there will be a lot of pages created so you have to update these pages so once you do these bits then only you would be able to publish your website so make sure that you you try not to import the demo content because a uh, lot of media would have also been downloaded here. So you see a lot of images are being here. So make sure you clean all the images, everything. The only thing uh, that is required from a demo site is mainly the elements. So if you go to elements, these are the ones which are mainly required, which which is downloaded in the free version as well, means in the importing without a uh, uh, content as well so let's do it again okay okay so we will remove imported data okay now let us see it again how it looks like so it is looking again back to what it was now we will then just use the newspaper newsroom again get started and demo content we don't need i understand insert okay it's done so what it has done is it has shown the basic content only and hello world only now in the elements if you go there are no elements so that is where the layout was so you have to 
either you use the elements first delete the post library etc otherwise you can put the demo content and do it likewise you can go with other uh, site library as well uh, and uh, do the experiment first and then choose the right template as you require from a blogging perspective okay this is all about how generate press premium theme can be installed and some basics around it so thank you very much